Yo, what's up? I'm Eric Shreds from Escape the Fate, and you are watching Shudder 16. I thought we could start by getting right into the latest single, Cheers to Goodbye. Maybe we Absolutely. could um, talk a little bit about how the song kind of came together. Okay. Uh, so Cheers to Goodbye honestly has a special place in the band's heart. Um we kind of started writing in a transitional period of the band where we were figuring out who's who's in the band. Um, and we just knew we needed to get together and start writing. Uh, it was personally my first time writing with the band, everybody else in the band. Um, we got together. We had some chords for a hook laid down, and it just became magic from there. The, the four of us were in the room. It was me, TJ, Robert, and Craig. And we just, as a unit, the four of us sat here in, in this studio and we just wrote a song together, four dudes in a garage and made it happen. Awesome. Awesome. And the video just came out too. So it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of, um, I love the videos you guys have been putting out because they're just, they're like theatrical, but yet they're still focused on the band. You know, there's not too much of a, a crazy story going on with them but tell us a little bit about the making of this particular video and how involved the band is in that process yeah so this video was really cool we shot it in phoenix arizona um at tony aguilar's studio with jacob reynolds and we shot in front of this massive video wall i mean like the thing we, I, I'm six foot three and I had to look straight up to see the top of it. You know, it's huge. It's huge. It's awesome. It was really, really cool. Um, and I mean, that really is the gist of the majority of the video. Um, we shot Spencer shot his parts somewhere else. He sent it to us. And then we did performances where we put him on the video wall and Craig like saying to him that way to be able to do it because they have a rigorous touring schedule. So it was just how we had to get it done. And I think it's a pretty cool concept how it turned out. You know, the video wall looked great. It, I mean, it looked like real fire to me for parts of it, you know, <laughs> we didn't have real fire there. <laughs> well, you could save that for the shows, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so you've been releasing a few singles this year. Uh, but we've got a new album that's going to be coming out. So tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about Out of the Shadows. Out of the Shadows. Um, so I, I'd like to say that the band is getting on its way back to its roots. Uh, there's a lot more rock and metal on this record than there has been in a while. Um, the We're all just really passionate about it. We're all really excited. We have lots of banging riffs, great hooks, lots of guitar solos. Uh, it's a very exciting record, and it is ETF kind of like branching back to what got the band started, you know? Do you have a favorite yet on the new album? I do, I do, and I can't, I can't give any names yet for the other songs that aren't released, but okay. it is one of the ones that isn't out yet that is my, my personal favorite. Okay, is that going to be released as a single at all prior to the album or not? I don't think so. I, okay. I think the, the one that holds the place in my heart is just going to be on the album. And I'm going to talk about it. People will be really excited when they hear it. I think it, it, it's such a cool song. Um, but uh, yeah, it probably won't be a single. I think it's just going to be on the album. Okay, cool. And do we have a date yet for the release of the album? We do have a date. I believe it is the 27th. You'll have to bear with me while I uh, confirm on that. I, uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a late morning guy, so I am still <laughs> uh, coming to be a person right now. I understand that. I completely understand that. All right. Let's see here. You know, you think it'd be easier to find an official date. All right. I don't have the actual date off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's the 27th, though. Okay of september september okay cool and what about the you know the writing process you mentioned that the latest single that was kind of just four guys in a garage so did the whole album kind of work like that or did you guys have like material that you brought to the table for everybody to kind of check out yeah it, it's a bit of a mess on that um <laughs> We did a lot of the writing at John Feldman's studio in Calabasas. Um, and we started some of the writing with an old guitar player. Um, and we did most of the writing without him, but we started it kind of just the band with the old lineup together. 
when we just wrote songs in a room with people at the studio. I, you know, there are a few songs that were like written elsewhere and people brought in like low was one that I ended up bringing to the table. That was just kind of something that I had written on tour. I like said, Craig, check out this, this course I'm working on. And he said, yo, what if it ends with this line? Let's talk about the worms. Let's feel low. And we kind of just like brought that one together to release um and then like hate myself was just kind of like a bunch of people in a room and you know the idea for the i hate you more than i hate myself came out and a song got written cool and how's um maddie working out is he fitting good in with the rest of the guys maddie definitely fits in with us uh <laughs> one of the greatest shredders i've ever met ever met i'm a guitar player and i am just like we are not worthy. Uh, <laughs> one of the greats of our generation, for sure. Awesome. And then you've been in personally with the band since 2021, right? Uh, I've been with the band <laughs> since uh, 2017, actually. 2017, okay. Mm -hmm. So um, tell us a little bit about your time in the band so far. It's been, well, that would be about six years now. Mm -hmm. um, so what's it like being part of uh, Escape the Fate? And where do you see you know yourself and the band moving forward? <laughs> All right. So I... I have you ever seen Mark Wahlberg, rock star? Yes. <laughs> so honestly, that's kind of how I feel about my life. I was a, a fan of the band uh, when I was in high school. And I mean, like I had I had this old Chevy and I had one CD in the car. And that was all I had was a burnt CD of this war is ours. Um, so I kind of came in as a fan and got the opportunity to play as a session player for them um i was in a band with craig called the dead rabbits and when they needed a bassist you know he knew me hit me up brought me into it um and then i played as a session bassist for i want to say four years and then over the pandemic was when i kind of came fully into the band um but, you know, I spent I spent years just kind of like supporting the guys and just being there, being on stage, still getting to meet the fans. You know, I wasn't necessarily a part of it, but I still got to support my friends. And then uh, one day I was just kind of like, you know what? I got something to bring to the table. Like, <laughs> let me in. <laughs> I'm knocking. I'm ready to go. That's awesome. And you guys have a tour coming up, right? So yes. let's talk a little bit about that. What are you looking forward to most about the tour? The production, the show, the package, the venues. <laughs> this is going to be the greatest Escape the Fate tour. Awesome. I know. That's big. It's a statement. But it, it's going to be amazing. We are uh, really trying to put on a next level performance for everybody this time. We don't want to just be a show that you went, oh, they played my favorite songs. Like, that was cool. They sounded really nice. That was nice. Like, we want people who have never seen us before to show up and leave and not be able to stop talking about it. Um, so we are putting a lot into this one. The package is absolutely amazing. We have drugs that we just did a tour in Australia with. Um, Craig Owens is one of the like nicest people I've ever met, and they are great to perform with, great vibes. Point North, they're on the up and coming. They've been showing up on my Spotify every week. I've been jamming to them. I'm loving it. Nice. And we have some old friends stitched up heart. And then we have Garzy on the, the tour with us. And it's just a great package. It's going to be great vibes. We're putting on a huge show. And it's going to be, honestly, it's going to be top notch. Cool. Are you excited to play the new songs live? Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. We already started playing Low and Hate Myself live. And Low... Even though it's maybe not the most popular song online, when we play it live, though, that song resonates differently on stage than it does in the studio. It's a very strange phenomenon, but I'm looking forward to seeing what other magic comes from playing the other new songs live. That's cool. That's like that. That's a fun part of it, because a lot of times you're right. The songs hit different when you get out there in the live setting and you've got the fans going and the interaction there. So it brings mm -hmm. it just a new, a new level to the song. So we're looking forward to seeing that in the tour this time. You've got some huge festivals though, too, coming up. Yes. So yes. you're going to be at Blue Ridge Rock Fest, which um, has Blue insanely Ridge. become just like this wildly huge, crazy festival. And you guys are going to be at Aftershock <laughs> too. So tell Correct. us a little bit about 
first of all, what the band has in the works for the festival dates, because I know it'll probably be a little bit different than, you know, the regular tour. Yeah, the festival dates, um, I, I am still, I actually don't know the logistics of our, you know, kind of package and the sh full overall show we're doing for the headliners, what that involves for the festivals. Um, you know, a lot of bands, they'll get to take out as much production on those. So that's up in the air. I don't have that information. Um, I do know that no matter what, though, we're going to play a set of heavy hitters we're going to get the crowd hyped and we're going to put on a rock and metal festival. What's your favorite festival memory, whether as a, a, a working musician or as a fan attending a festival? Oh, OK. So we played this festival in Jakarta, actually. Um, I'm having a hard time remembering what its name was because it, it sounds like Sonic Temple to me for some reason. Uh, it will come back to my head, but we played this festival in Jakarta. I had never been to Indonesia, um, and it was just kind of a, a, a culture shock experience with how different everything was. Um, you know, you finish playing a song, and you start talking to the crowd, and it's just like crickets in the audience because everyone is there to just kind of like show you respect. They want to hear the music. They're so interested to hear what you have to say that it's like, you're on this massive stage. There's these screens that are 100 feet tall on your left and right. And then you get finished playing your song. You're rocking the riffs. Everybody's pumped. And then the crickets. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was a very unique experience for sure. That was so cool. Crazy. Different vibe. Hammer Sonic. Hammer Sonic. You're, you're definitely not going to get that at Blue Ridge or, or Aftershock. because they're, they're Oh, no, we're oh, there might be in crickets, but you won't be able to hear them. <laughs> no, no, no. So you've got the new album coming out in September. You've got this big tour starting at the end of August mm -hmm. and the festival dates. What's next? What's around the corner? Just continuing to push the new record and are you going to have more yeah. tour dates in the winter and upcoming spring, you think? Absolutely. Um, so we want to take the tour global. Um, we are still working on that. It's another just logistics thing that's in the work still. Uh, but beyond that, we are still always writing music. Uh, so I feel like that's going to be a lot of our focus is pushing this album over the next year and getting ready to keep having more music swinging. Uh, we are very inspired. We're very motivated and we're all very, very passionate about what we do. And we're very excited to keep making music and, and sharing ourselves with everybody. That's awesome. Well, we can't wait to hear the whole record in full, and especially that song that you're talking about. We'll be on the lookout and listening mm -hmm. to that. And, um, you know, best of luck with the tour coming up and all those dates. You guys are Thank great. You. you know, we can't wait to get to see you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much.